Hello everybody, um, so we're starting off a, a series, it's Worldwide Fly Fishing hosted by myself and Jakko Lukas. It's going to be destination specific tutorials on what you'll need on these trips. Today I will run through my basic bonefish selection, this is really just the basics to get you going and um, so this is what you'll need for your next bone fishing trip. My right of choice is the Thomas & Thomas Exocet, um, this is an 8 weight. Uh, which is an all-round really good weight for bonefish. Most places around the world, some places it's, uh, it's needed a little bit heavier rods. Um, more importantly is the reel. Uh, you will need a reel with a really smooth and heavy drag. Um, larger arbe is kind of preferable picking up slackline real fast because these fish love to run. It's one thing a bonefish always do, they do run a long way the first run. Um, my reel of choice very lucky to fish these reels. It's a Mako reel, um, very smooth drag and uh, absolutely love them. Loaded on this reel I've got 30 pound gel spun uh, by Cortland. It's a very thin diameter and I can fit at least 300 yards on this reel which is more than enough for, for most situations. Um, then my line of choice is the Cortland Bonefish line. Um, it's a pretty new line um, that they've developed and what I love about this line it's a 105 foot line um, with a pretty slow taper throughout uh, so it's really good for shorter casts you can load the rod pretty quick um, but also holding a, a really good loop on your longer cast and it presents a really accurate cast um, also the diameter of the line it's not as heavy as a lot of other um, other kind of fly lines so the, this very subtle presentation which is obviously needed in in a lot of uh, flat calm conditions then uh, finishing up my setup uh, there's a bunch of different ways personally I do tie a lot of my own leaders um, but for today's function um, something like a Cortland uh, this is a 12 foot 10 pound leader um, I do like fishing leaders a little bit over the 10 foot mark, uh, it's just more forgiving but you can get away with something shorter, I, would, I wouldn't like to go anything under 10 foot um, so yeah, I mean it really is up to the, the, the person holding the, the rod, what you're capable of but um, if you're happy casting that 12 foot 10 pound, that's a good leader to start off with um, then as far as flies wise really depends on the destination so I'm not gonna name any flies but if I have to choose one fly for bonefish all around the world it will probably be the Enrico Puglisi spawning shrimp um, that's as much info I have for you today um, I will keep going on with bonefish but a little bit more specifically into certain scenarios um, this is your basic bonefish uh, setup and uh, hopefully that helps and uh, go get out there and get it done